Okay, now I'm not so bad on this side. Hmm. Whatever. This is as good as it's going to get right now. And today I got asked a very interesting question. Can you help me write a spell for them to be as loving as I am? <laughs> And I got to tell you, that's the first time in a long time I've been asked something like that. So, as I sit here and work on my board, we're going to figure that out. So, the first thing that I realize is That is the person who wants to change other people. Because let's face it, I know you're going to see this video. That's what you're doing. You're saying, hey, I don't like them the way they are, and I want to change them. As opposed to you saying, well, how could I just see this differently? Or what is it in myself that I dislike about them? that I want them to change for me. So you've taken a mass of people, I assume it's a mass of people, just since I kinda know what you do. <laughs> and in this case, you have said, the needs of the many, the needs of the one outweigh the needs of the many, kind of thing. You, you, that's, what you, that's what I hear you saying. As my mama would say, that's what I hear you saying, you know, <laughs> to my <laughs> reply would be, why would you, <laughs> why would you want to change all those people just for you? Um, really? You really want to tell oh i don't know you probably have to work in an office probably of at least 500 people okay okay 100 people doesn't matter doesn't matter you want all these other people to change for your sake hi honey now the reason why i kind of laugh at that is because i was there at one time happy to say i'm not because all those people are with you and around you because of whatever it is you yourself needs to learn. And you know that I am into spiritualism, so that's probably going to be my perspective of everything. <laughs> so, having said all that, <clears throat> and even for a love spell itself, I don't, well, I won't say that I don't. I would, I, would, I would say even people that ask me for a love spell for even for a relationship, I still tell them the same thing. What is it in yourself that needs changing? Because let's face it, what if tell why vision is true and you change the other person, they're in love with you, you think it's so easy just to snap your fingers and go back once you get tired of them kissing your ass? and licking your ass and spreading it wide open and it hurts and they're licking the, <laughs> they spread it so far open that it's now bleeding and they're licking the blood out of your ass, really? Do you really think it's gonna be so easy just to turn that off, just like flipping a switch? I don't think so, boo boo. I don't think so. And having had a couple of people in my life that have actually experienced that, I know that in the end of it all, it, it didn't turn out very good. I know a couple of people that it did turn out good, but those, those people went about it in a slightly different way. Because let's face it, no matter what you want the outcome to be, you first have to change that perception within yourself. So it doesn't, and it, you know, it sucks because I have to remind myself of that too. And, and when I want what I want, it still sucks. <laughs> it does. 
and yet I have to face reality, both spiritual and physical. So I am not helping you write a spell to change anyone. I will... How you perceive things to be. Who is that? I can't, I can't read no instant messages now. I'm, I'm working. Um, where is she? Oh, good lord. I have too many people to go through. Let's. Oh, no. Oh, there she is. There you are. So, I mean, we're humans. Why are, why are we always wanting to change everything? I don't, I don't necessarily, you know, like and love every single aspect of my life. But I'm not going to be, hey, Willie, could you, could you do a spell to, to, you know, let so-and-so be more how I want them to be? That's crazy. Ah, boo boo. That's crazy. Okay. That's some crazy shit right there. <laughs> Why don't you write a spell for yourself? Maybe, I don't remember what I told you. I think I said, my spirit allows me to see the love that I exude to them pouring out of themselves. Something like that. But it always has to start with you, because let's face it, that's only your fucked up perspective. To the, from their point of view, your perspective is fucked up. A Monday is a Monday. It all it all depends on how you choose to see it. I chose to always see it as it's just a day. It doesn't matter if I'm at home. It doesn't matter if I'm here. I have a responsibility in life to fulfill. So I'll just be happy to get my ass up and go to work. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, don't matter. The day. A day is a day. And I'm there to do whatever I promised I was going to do for, for my spiritual purpose, first of all, for that boss, second of all, therefore, the company in general, you know? So, <laughs> choice. Everything is about choice. I'm getting my board set up, y'all, in case you wonder what I'm doing and why I'm in this bad light. But it's kind of, is Kathy here yet? No. Um... Thank you, KK. It's nice to be seen by you, my dear. Mwah. No, she's not here yet. Okay, fine. Well, Kathy, we're just going to... Oh, I can swipe right now. Oh, they fixed it. I love that. Um, so, yeah, I'm working on the board. I'm working on the board. So, um, I'm pretty much set up. I had to do it in here because I wanted the white board to show better light. So... I have my little um, light here to put on the gems themselves. Excuse me. And hopefully you will see better. Then I'm going to take them out one by one and take pictures in my other white box. So here we go. And I hope this works as well as I intend it to. But in any case, I know you're going to watch this video because I think you watch all my videos uh, here or on YouTube. So instead of saying, because I, you know, you got to know, I mean, I've been a receptionist since I was 20. And, you know, one person wants it this way and one person wants it that way. Well, I, I'm in the Silicon Valley. I've worked for a company of thousands of employees. I love heavy phones. Yes, I do. And there's always, you know, a group of people who say, well, Tasha talks too soft. And the other group of people say, well, Tasha talks too loud. She's too nice. She talks too much. She did, 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 did. You can't please everybody all the time. So instead of that, I just learned to love myself. And I would pray that they that everyone saw the best in me that they liked in themselves. Because let's face it, what you see in others is what you see in yourself. So I'm not here to, 
necessarily call anybody stupid because what a great teacher that would be, huh? So we just got to keep it pushing, boo-boo. That's all. We just got to keep it pushing. Let them be they self. And you love them for themselves. And if their true authentic self is fucked up and, you know, crabby like the Scrooge every single day of the week, then just love them like that. Get in where you fit in. But don't expect people to change just because you want them to be more positive, which was this person's uh, desire, right? A, a love spell so that the people around him would be more open to positivity. Yeah, well, we'll just settle that with the, all the mass murderers of the world and see how they feel about that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not saying it's not possible because, you know, I'm weird. Hi, John. Cutie pie. Mwah, 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 mwah. It's nice to see you, honey. It's your handsome self. How is your kitty cat anyway? You haven't been posting pictures of the baby. Um, yeah, wouldn't it be easier instead of always wanting to change everybody else? That's one of the that's one of the spiritual things I know is uh, the contributing factor to being diabetic. I don't give a shit what the doctor says. I know it worked for me, so I can't be the only one in the world that it works for. You know. So having said that, instead, of, that's why for those of you who have seen my YouTube videos on. Um, I forgot what I called it, Di Tasha's Diabetes Adventure or something like that. You know, I can't blame you because, I'll, well, okay, I'll put it this way. Um, after I got my teeth, I thought, oh, this is great. I'm just going to walk right back into another reception position. Yeah, eh, wrong, because there's still, you know, people prejudiced against black people. There's still pre people prejudiced against fat people. There's people prejudiced against fat black people <laughs> and so forth and so on. And that's okay. I'm not here to change your perception, perspection, perception of what I feel things should and shouldn't be. Because I know I'm going to get in where I fit in divinely right. And so I must keep on keeping on, right? So I'm not here to change you and how you think. I am here to ask you. Are you open-minded enough to listen to something different than what you were taught? And to you, sir, that asked me that question in, over in uh, Twitter, are you open-minded enough to accept things that are different than what you think they should be? You know, why can't you just love them where they are? Maybe it's their purpose to be stupid, to teach you how not to be stupid. I don't know, but just poof, writing a spell to say, oh, let's, how about if we, yeah, we'll go back to what I originally said. We'll write a spell for you to see them differently instead of have them be more positive. Maybe they think they are being positive because maybe, honey, they can get a lot bitchier than what they are, you know? So I beg of all of you, you know, watch that. Oh, I'll just buy a spell. No, 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 boo-boo. No. I don't believe we can just necessarily, you know, just say, hey, Ryan, write me a spell for, you know, to make my dick bigger. Like you men are always fussed about. Oh, my God. That's the stupidest thing. Uh, okay, men that heard me just say that, gay or not, doesn't matter. How do you feel if... If it was bigger and it wouldn't fit. <laughs> no. Um, that's like men. That's like you, you know, having sex with your mate and, and they have stretch marks. I mean, do you really give a shit about stretch marks? Really? If you do, you're shallow. Get off my page. For real. I'm serious. You can friend, feel free to unfriend me. I don't need anybody that shallow in my life ever. You know, so, um, or as Cat Williams put it, in a heterosexual way. You know, that's like saying, oh, your nails are red and your toes are burgundy. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to fuck you after all. Fuck that. I'm still going to fuck you. <laughs> Even if you do have two, two different colors of polish on, it doesn't matter. 
you know? So, anywho, be careful. Be very careful. Okay, let's get going here, because the light's going to go down. Let me see. How do I do this? Oh, mwah. I love you guys, and I love you, and I love you, and I love you, and 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 you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Here we got our little light, and we're going to see how well... Now, mind you, I already have... I'm stuck. Okay. I already have um, one lady that I'm saving <laughs> the moonstones for. And if you're here, you need to let me know which one you want me to set aside for you. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, shit. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could have got a stronger light, huh? Oh, I know. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yes, I know the screen's black. Hang on. I think this one's gonna work better. Let's see. I'm getting there, hang on. Okay, now don't touch the button, Tasha. Don't touch the button in the left hand or the right hand. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's better. That's a little better. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I forget. The light from the bounces off and it makes stuff fucked up. Now we have our own disco show. Well, I tried. Okay, so back to where we were. No, I didn't go outside because it's windy outside and I didn't find a clean, flat surface. And I don't like, we've got enough cat hair in this house. I don't like my shit being ha cat hairy and, and dirty too. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, let me see if I could just... Wait, don't get my papers messed up, Tosh. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I wish the camera focused better, but it doesn't, so sorry. That's why now, since I've set it all out, I want to take one out, one by one out, to take um, individual pictures. Cute. You're twins. <laughs> Pretty. And this one is. Oh, sorry. These are blue topaz. The next, this one is Amazonite. Okay, watch the cord, Tosh. Watch the cord. Watch the cord. Okay, I'm watching the cord. Okay, there we go. Amazonite Buddha. <laughs> it's so cute. And we have a lapis lazuli puppy. I don't know, it looks like a puppy to me. <laughs> and here we start the row of citrine. This too. Hmm, I don't know, I'm debating. I know definitely I want this one. 25 carats. Teardrop. And I want to have a certain person put that into a make that into a ring for me. Because I absolutely love his work. It's 
Isn't that gorgeous? It's faceted all the way around. Come on, camera, turn on. Thank you. Now I forgot where I was. Oh, I was right here. Check that out. Can you believe? It is 20.45 carats. VVS quality. Hmm. But you know, sister, I can really see you, Lady J, in, in, uh, okay, so there's five, right? Oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot where I was. So there's five, right? Well, those last two are mine, so forget that. And these three over here are broilettes, right? And different, they're all three different shapes. Okay, so, sorry, I'll try and keep it upright, but it looked better sideways for a minute, but... Maybe that's just my perception. I'll change that. See, that's a broilette. It's got the hole through the top, of which I know only probably a 28, maybe a 26 gauge piece of wire will fit through there. But honey, I gotta tell you the truth. I am not the one to be wrapping this. But uh, Lady J, I could see you in that. And if I if I really had a matching matching one, which I don't, that would be the shit for a pair of earrings for you. And a necklace. Okay, so check this out. I have never really seen this cut before. And it is so fascinating. I mean, I I didn't Google it yet, but as I post them one by one with each individual picture, this is a broilé. Broilé, broilé. Uh, also, um... I'm going to try to find the name of this shape because what I do, and that's 19.52 carats, um, what I try to do is find five different prices. Okay, so I, I'll Google all of that information right there. I'll just put all of that in Google and I will take like the first, the top five sites and price it out fairly, okay? Oh, Lady J, you missed the first few. And, and I'll just give you a quick review real quick of the blue topaz. And they're all faceted. Minus this one, these two little girls. Okay. Amazonite. Buddha. And Lapis. Doggy. Okay, so I will take this. I'll put all that information in there. The first top five sites, I will take those prices and whatever the lowest price is for those five sites, I'll put a link to that page so you can go to it and see, you know, Tasha's not just shucking and jiving. I'm not out to say, you know, give me a hundred bucks for that, you know, just because... I pick the number out of my head. I mean, spirits have other, other things to do besides sit here and tell me what I should charge for each of these dang pieces. But I can tell you this about that. This was going to be at least 300 Dang it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I wish. Because, you know... Um... My my friend, he he sends me these nice, luscious lots at least once a year. So I try to I try to make the best of it <laughs> when I can, and make myself happy and make you happy, make everybody happy all at the same time. But isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Mm mm mm. Just so yummy. Okay, and we're gonna move on to. The Ami Babies. Look at that. They're so, I mean, you can barely see any, 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 wait. I hope you guys aren't getting sick. I'm sorry. It's, you know, motion. Okay, there you can see a little purple. Look at that. It is so freaking purple. They look black. Look at that. That is the good shit. Just saying. The light stuff that you can see just wearing on your neck is not... Well, I shouldn't say it like that, huh? I'm sorry. Uh, a teardrop lampshade. I love that. 
a lot, well, I know, I'll say it like this. A lot of people consider that not the high quality amethyst. This is the <laughs> high, high quality. <laughs> oh, brother, don't mess around. And my sister friend, Linda. The, she only likes the shiny, sparkly, you know, top, 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 top. <laughs> Just give me the raggedy stuff because I don't mind what it is, <laughs> you know. And I'm sure, yes, he did, of course. He puts all them numbers that are important to somebody, I am not the one, on there every single time. But I can't see. Hang on. That is, I don't know how many carrots that is. It looks like 40, but that can't be 40. That's 25. That one's 20. And that one's 24. I don't know. I do not know. But isn't that yummy? Now, mind you, this one, they're both about the size of two peas next to each other. Okay. This is two peas and this is two peas. Excuse me. If you're a... A gym person, then I would assume that's about 11 millimeters by 5 millimeters. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I'm thinking I might make me a pair of earrings out of them. Okay, I won't be greedy. You guys can have some. I'll have some. But these two are mine, so to get that right out your head right now. <laughs> Look at that. I have a ring for those that weren't here yesterday. I have a ring a little bit bigger than this. This is what? This is, well, this one's only 12 carats. Okay. That one's 20 carats. Okay. So look at this. Okay. So this size, I have an amethyst that's 28 carats. So imagine 10, 15 pieces of paper thickness bigger than this. All the way around. Is that not gorgeous? I think I want to have a ring made out of that one or this one. I'm not sure. But I'm thinking if he makes a ring out of that one, I'll make me a pendant out of this one. And the colors match perfectly. Look at that. You can t the shimmer is because it's faceted all the way around. Not because there's stuff on the inside. And you might know that and you say, of course, Tasha, why are you telling us that? Well, everybody don't know what you know. Everybody don't know what I know. And I only know this because my dear sweet one has educated me highly in these things. Look at that. Mm. just love it <clears throat> and moving on <laughs> moving on this cute little guy is a little wolf okay it could be a dog focus 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 I should have did this with my other camera that Justin gave me turn around would you turn around there how's that no I'm kidding <laughs> Trust me, it's a little wolf. So cute. In Onyx. A little wolf in Onyx. It's so cute. For the wolf lo lovers out there. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm about to go take pictures. So, Kathy, here you go. The Rainbow Moonstone. Focus, focus. Ay, Dios mío. Oh, my gosh. How do you pronounce your name? Why Novi or just Novi? This is one of those famous stones that most people always ask for. 
and I rarely have until yesterday. There. Come on, stop being stuck. Isn't that gorgeous? Hey, Melanated, how you doing, honey? And since this is second to the last, I say we go outside. How much battery do I have? Oh, I got enough, I think. Star Moonstone. We can go out, take that outside and see if we can see the star in there. You know, like, um, what is that other stone that has a star in it, but you can only see it out in the sun? Anyway, these are more Moonstones. And they're just, as you can tell, little itty bitty things. Yes, I could wrap these for you into a nice pair of earrings. Why, yes, I can. So let's see. Let's see if we can see this star outside. Come on, let's go outside. I wish I had something high and clean to set these on. Okay. Anyway. Let's look. Let's have let's run outside real quick. Yeah, okay. Anyway. I know, Tess. I'm coming. You have to wait for me. I'm not your mama. I'm not running to open the door for you. No, I'm not. I'm Auntie. You gotta wait for Auntie. I don't see no star. But it's called Star Moonstone. Hmm. I like you know me, Yanobi. Thank you. I don't know why people are always so embarrassed to ask people how you pronounce your name, but I'd rather get your name right. And you better get my name right too, especially if you're writing it on a check. <laughs> you know? Dang it, I don't see no star. Oh, wait, maybe. Can a star have only two points? Yes. Don't you rub up against my pants. I'm getting enough hair already. It is so beautiful. Flat back. So it's like a cab. A cabochon. Dang it. Maybe I could put it. Nah, forget it. What was the other one? Oh, this one I wanted to show you outside real quick. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Tess. Wow. What a different sun makes, huh? <sighs> Sorry, I'm not blowing in your ear or nothing. Mm, mm, mm. Come on, stop freezing. Okay, there we go. is going to be a beautiful pendant or something for somebody because these I don't I don't I sell these I, I don't necessarily um, make them into jewelry and then sell them it takes a lot of time and everybody isn't always willing to pay for that time so if you want to buy it buy it and then if you want to pay in $50 more to put it in a pendant, I'd be happy to. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Wow. So, 
There you have it, and there it be. It's not so windy anymore, damn it. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous, and I am so blessed. So you can start eating what you want. Sorry. A little Amazonite Buddha. A little Lapis Dog. trying to get the information in too because what I intended to do was have a background that I was going to number underneath but this particle board isn't mine and I don't want to go around using thousands of pieces of tape and paper and stuff so you're gonna know by looking at the numbers I mean, there's, there's not another 127, you know, there's not another 52, so forth and so on. Okay. Oh, that amethyst is just gorgeous. Wow. And I was again, so... There you have it, folks. There it be. And I, I hope... How much battery do I have left? 26%. That's not too bad. So we'll turn that light out. And... and we're going to open the door for Mr. Bubby here. Bubby, Bubby. Hi. I know. You ate, you shit, you want to go back outside. Cats, go figure. <laughs> I'm happy to love all critters, but I gotta tell you, cats are so amazing creatures. So, now you have seen the goods, as it were. <sighs> and Please let me know what you what you like. If, if you want something that I don't have, just tell me I will you next time. And he's good about getting whatever people ask for. So don't think you know you're asking too much, too little, to this, to that, or whatever. So let's just ooh and ogle together of your pretty shiny stuff <laughs> and be happy together and all that other good stuff okay it's a beautiful day as you can see oh sorry here in California in case you need a little sun there you go only thing that would make this day better is if okay well if I were at the beach that would be better or no it's a little too warm for the beach I like the beach at around oh three in the morning um oh but you know what we could be in San Mateo on the water at the ocean that would be nice to be on the ocean right about now dude next door put this fucking noisy ass cat thing out there and I gotta tell you cats aren't stupid that noise doesn't bother them at all <laughs> it bothers the rest of us damn neighbors that's who it bothers but anyway <laughs> you guys thank you for sharing this time with me I appreciate it and to you dear one that wanted me to write that spell how about we sit down tonight and we'll write a spell to do with you loving yourself enough to let them be whoever they are. 
How about that? Because let's face it, it doesn't matter if they bitches or hoes. You could still see them in a positive light. You could. <laughs> All about choice. All about choice. Hi, brother. How are you today? I love you. It's my handsome brother. My Puerto Rican brother. So, now I'm going over and over and over. Oh, thank you, you know me. Uh, you know me, you know me. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Zenobia's in, um, I don't know if you're old enough to know, uh, Downtown Saturday Night, uh, Bill Cosby and Sidney Poitier. Yeah. Was it Zenobia's? No. It was Zenobia's. Remember the rest, the um, bar that they went to to get the money from, yeah. That was a good movie. I gotta go find that on YouTube now. And as I come outside and take my pictures, I can listen to that. Because you know I got most of the words memorized already, right? <laughs> Anywho, you guys go be good to yourself. Love yourself. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget, I love you. I love you. Okay, now get out of here. Go pick whatever cute little sparkly thing you want and I'll wrap it up nice and tight and put it in something really ugly <laughs> probably very ugly but sturdy so you can get your stuff in one piece brother John uh -huh. <laughs> yes yes get away from my pant legs thank you no thank you good girl auntie don't play that I got enough hair on my clothes already. Don't need no more. And I love them to death. Anybody try to hurt them? I'll cut them. But in the meantime, you stay away from my pant legs. <laughs> ah. Okay, you guys. I'm sure I'll be back with another video because today... Oh, that's what I meant to tell you. See? I, stay, I, I started out with what I was going to say and then ended up saying what he, he wanted to hear. Today, oh man, you, you see my hat is a horrible mess, right? Today, I was fit to be tired. Outreach, the transportation company, never called me back from yesterday. So I was pissed about that. And then, she, and then when I finally get a hold of her, she's like, oh, well, you didn't leave your account number. And I'm like, oh, so the phone number I left didn't work? Hmm. Yeah, so then they weren't willing to bring me home. I mean, they didn't have a, a ride home. So my transportation service is called Outreach here in California. And I call them usually the day ahead. And I say, T tomorrow I need to go here. I'm coming from here. It's a house. I can walk all the way to the curb by myself. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And they say, okay, what time, either what time do you want us to pick you up? Or what time do you need to be at your destination? Now I tell them what time I want to be picked up. You know, because they give me this freaking two-hour window, and then I'm just sitting there for hours in, in, in advance before I go to, you know, my appointment or the, the pharmacy or where, whatever. And today, since they didn't just take money off my PayPal card yesterday, because they couldn't find me by, by a phone number and a name. Oh, and an address. Yeah. So... I had to pay Uber to get to work today, and I was pissed about that because that was $37. Because it's um, 33 miles away. So I'm like, okay, well, fine. You got your money. Everybody's happy. Well, so can I get a ride home today from work? Oh, no. I looked all the way as far as 7 o'clock. We don't have anybody in Gilroy to, to pick you up and bring you home. And you're a transportation service? Really? You can't, you don't have one person in all of garlic land, you know, that will take my ass home? Really? <laughs> what the hell are you here for is what I felt like saying. I mean, damn. First of all, you can't call nobody back. And I, now don't get me wrong, because I know we all have time limits and it was a Monday, blah, 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 blah. so what? But I called you at 2 o'clock. I think I got home yesterday at 2 o'clock. Okay, fine. I called you at 
three, four, five, two and a half hours, you can't call nobody back. Or better yet, how me and Nancy do it, she cool. I'll be like, Nancy, this is Tasha, whoop de whoop de whoop is my account number, here's this, here's that, da, da, da. take 50 out of PayPal, which is 9592, and, you know, deuces, have a good one. And Nancy, leave me a message, hi, Tasha, okay, I found your number, buh, 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 buh. I get it. Anyway, it's all good. It's all good because you know what? This, come to find out, was a divine opportunity for me to thank Pam <laughs> for bringing my ass home from Garlic Land and spending time with her, spending divine time with her. It was it was wonderful. It was so one because you know how it is. You know how it is when you get to talking and, and they're telling you about them and their lives. And I'm telling you about my, me and my life. And we're getting to know each other. That That's ch chopping it up all the way home. And then it's like, oh, I'm home already. But we just got started. <laughs> See, so I know, I know. Look at Mater. I, I know that. Hey, no fighting in the trees. I don't want nobody to fall. Tess fell out the tree last time because she was just learning, you know, how to climb. And now they want to be fighting, acting like grown folk. Well, Mater is a grown folk. So anyway, it was a divine opportunity to get to know more about Pam. And Pam, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saving my life. Because girl, you know I would have went crazy. Well, no, what, what would have happened was my boss would have brought me to some place because y'all know I haven't driven in 12 years, right? I mean, I know the streets around here someplace, <laughs> but I'd be like this, Marcy, can you get up? No, I'd be like, okay, Uber. <laughs> I already gave you 37, five more won't hurt. I got five on it, put five on it. Come get me, <laughs> you know? Oh, they're so cute when they're over there. Yeah, so thank God for Pam. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> I am yet a happy camper all over again. Yes, I am. Okay. Whew. I tell you, I feel like I just took a 10-pound shit. I feel so good now. I feel so good. I think I'm going to go have me one of my little Weight Watcher sandwiches, uh, ice cream sandwiches. I like it when they do that nod thing like, I'm going to go. <gasps> See? Mater, move! Tess is trying to jump over Mater to get down. And... <laughs> Mater! Tess, don't you go jumping after hummingbirds. And she's like, well, I'm ready to come down. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. Sorry. Okay, I'll stop tapping. <laughs> Next lifetime, I am going to be a cat owned by a lesbian woman. Yes, I am. Because they get treated so freaking good. Okay, whoever kid that is, it's a nice day. I don't want to hear it. And no, I don't hate all kids, just those girls that make that fucking high, squealy pitched. Oh, she's going to do it. <gasps> Yay, you did it, Tess. Oh, I wish I would have took a video of that so Mama could see. She's always scared to come down. Look at her. She's so cute. And then once we're down, it's like, yeah, I, I knew that. Oh, Tess. Yeah, I know you be knowing. It's so cute. Oops. We got down, safe and sound. Anywho. God, it's so beautiful. Oh, I wish I were in the redwoods. Peace and quiet. Before I move, we're going to go. I'm going to take you guys with me to the redwoods. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. We're going to go to the redwoods before I leave California. Yes, we are. Because it's so, it's choich. That's what it is. It's choich. You know? And if you've seen pictures of the redwoods, I mean, it's so nice just being around something that's way huger than me. 
Oh, now meter comes down. Um, and it's just, just awe and enthralling, and it's just so. I can't even find a good word. So serene, so. Yeah. It's beautiful. Somebody's cooking carnitas. And somebody else is cooking hamburger. Anyway, I think I'm going to just sit out here for a while and enjoy the stillness since that little girl stops screaming. I don't have a problem with little girls. I don't have a problem with little girls screaming. But that 25,000 octave C pitch that only little girls make is fucking annoying to me. <laughs> I ramble a lot. <laughs> Check out a couple of my 5,000 videos on YouTube. <laughs> but you know why I started doing that? Because I was like my mother, a Capricorn. You know, it's very specific, succinct, to the point, and that's it. And on some of my YouTube videos, I still am. Some. On most, not. Because my kids that I adopt from YouTube are like this. Mama, I want you to talk about this. And then Mama, I want you to talk about that. And then Mama, want, and then after you get done talking about that, I want you to talk about this. And then after that, I want you to say the poem, Vacation Time. My baby Jordan and, and, and Ryan, I don't think he's still here, I like to hear that poem that my grandma taught my mom, taught me about vacation time. And they just like to hear me recite that. And, and then I want you to, you know, so I've gotten now in my older age, very accustomed to rambling. <laughs> so I apologize. But like mama would say, there's more room out than in, honey. I'm sorry. I'm staring up at these beautiful, all of a sudden, like 10 hummingbirds are just sitting in a tree, staring down at me like, hey, what's up? Peace. And they're so beautiful. Okay, see, I'm going to stop rambling now. <laughs> yeah, right. That'll be the day. That's how you guys are going to know Tasha is, is gone home. You're going to come on Facebook and you'll be like, well, she, you know, it's 3 in the afternoon. She's not here yet. Maybe maybe she went to work, you know. We'll wait till 5, five come 5 o'clock and I still haven't posted nothing. You can feel free to assume that I went home. Yeah, for real. Or uh, Google+. Plus. Don't you want to just sit with me and we can ramble together? It's so funny. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to say that my white sister keeps up happily with me. <laughs> you know, and then a few other people, like my roommates, are like, wait a minute, you were just saying... Okay, I know. I said that already. I, I, I ended, see, I indicated that that was the ending point by taking a breath. <gasps> Topic change. So the next day, you know, it's so beautiful. I'm so thankful. Life is good. Come February, life is going to be gooder. I cannot wait to show you guys my new place. I can't wait. I'm so excited. And for the first time, no, actually, so this is probably for the second time in, in my life, I'm actually excited about getting all new furniture. That's going to be exciting. Okay. I'm going to shut up and just start taking pictures before the sun goes down. And if I could squeeze some room in somewhere around here. Take some pictures real quick. Oh, I know. Maybe I can put that board over here, huh? Is there... Oh, yeah, there is room. Okay. I'll put the board on top of the igloo and then I'll take pictures. Okay, everybody. I love you. Go love yourself. Be good to yourself. And I will talk to you soon, okay? Okay, you guys. Love ya. Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Bye bye. I love those kinds of pictures where the sunlight kind of sort of caresses your face, you know? Love that. Anywho, okay. You know, Bia? You know, we? Thank you for being here. You have a great day. Day too, my dear. And I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> Love you. Bye-bye.